The federal government is now looking at dropping 24 Sussex Drive as the official residence of Canada's Prime Minister. There were plans to renovate 24 Sus Sussex made during our current Prime Minister's first term to deal with decades of neglect, like rats are there, mold, asbestos. But the cost and the location are now triggering a conversation about a better solution. With more on whether the home is beyond the point of repair, we are joined by a member of the Canadian Association of Heritage Professionals, Cody Grote. Good to have you on this morning. Thanks for having me, Lindsay. I mean, how bad is it? Well, we've seen reports that are out there saying that there's about $36 million worth of uh, deferred renovations that need to take place. Um, we've seen other quotes from properties within the portfolio of official residences. Harrington Lake, which is another official residence for the Prime Minister, is $1.16 million in repair. So there's about a $20 million difference there, uh, t the condition of 24 Sussex compared to the other official residence for the Prime Minister. Somebody thinking about their own home right now and hearing a number like $36 million to renovate? Like, what are they doing? What would they need to do for $36 million? I know, it's quite a significant number, especially when we look at the housing crisis that does exist in this country. And I think what we've seen is a whole bunch of Prime Ministers who continually uh, decide to not invest that money because it is sort of a bad PR image uh, and it keeps on getting deferred, which gets us to this crisis. But again, some of the things that need to be done is just the, the matter of security as well. When we look at the, the state of our political climate and the security concerns that are necessary for a prime minister, uh, that's, that's one of the major renovations that needs to take place, as well as some of the more uh, conventional renovations we might hear of, such as asbestos. Okay, so Cody, you're saying that it would cost around $36 million basically to renovate. How much would it cost to tear down and rebuild? Oh, geez, that's not a quote that I've had available for me. But one thing that I uh, one thing that I think about is how 24 Sussex was expropriated uh, from its past owner in the 1950s, and it was added to the federal portfolio to sort of uh, take over this property along the back of the river and, and use it for an official purpose to sort of consolidate the entire portfolio. So you wonder if that's a strategy that would be used in 2023, expropriating property uh, that might exist in Ottawa to serve this purpose. I, I think it's probably a bit more scandalous these days than what happened in the 1950s. But again, there's also about five or six other properties in the federal portfolio that could be used and could be re-attributed uh, as the official residence for the prime minister. So there's a few solutions. Yeah, I want to ask you about that because uh, some people are saying like the location where 24 Sussex is right now, it is just not secure enough. So they are looking at other locations. Walk us through some other options that they are considering. Sure. So since 2015, uh, for our current Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, he's lived in Rideau Cottage, which is on the grounds of the Governor General's house. And again, we have Rideau Hall, the official residence of our Governor General. Uh, there have been some concerns about that as well, including just the, the PR and the image of the Prime Minister living in the backyard of the Governor General. But again, that is where the current uh, Prime Minister and his family have lived since 2015. There's also an official Prime Ministerial residence in Quebec, Harrington Lake. The leader of the official opposition, Pierre Polyev, has an official residence. The Speaker of the House of Commons has an official residence, Anthony Rota. There's also Seven Rideau Gate, which is an official residence that's used for uh, visiting dignitaries. And all of those are closer to $1.5 million worth of repairs mm -hmm. instead of $36 million worth of repairs that are necessary. Cody, when we look at 24 Sussex, let's talk about the history of the building from a heritage yes. perspective. perspective. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, so, you know, we have very poor heritage legislation in this country. In fact, there's there's not any comprehensive federal heritage legislation at all. This property has been recognized or designated through the Federal Heritage Buildings Review Office, which is a federal initiative. And the intent of that is to assure that the heritage value of a property is being maintained. It obviously hasn't been in this example. So it goes to show how weak our heritage legislation is, especially when the property is something that is owned by the federal government and designated for use by the prime minister. Uh, but we also have other examples of former prime ministerial houses in Ottawa that have been commemorated as national historic sites. Earnscliffe, the former home of Johnny Macdonald, is now the residence of the British ambassador. Mm -hmm. And we also have Laurier House, which was lived in by both Wilfrid Laurier and William Lloyd Mackenzie King, which is a museum in Ottawa. So we have other examples of former prime ministerial residences that have been reinterpreted, reused, uh, used as museums. Mm -hmm. This could be another example of that. But they have to renovate first, I would imagine. But they, exactly, yeah, make it a little big, bit safer. That's a big problem. All right, Cody yeah. Grote, uh, thanks for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you, Lindsay.
right, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.